whatever it takes to ensure their safety. So to those who might be looking to terrorize or harm our Madison County kids, don't bring that foolishness to Madison County because it won't end well. May God richly bless you and I hope each parent has a happy school year and a happy and safe summer. Thank you. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. That's a pretty impressive little statement by Mr. Uh, Buddy Harwood, the sheriff up in Madison County in North Carolina. Now, they've got six schools up there, and he's decided he's not going to wait around for anything to happen in his schools, and he's going to uh, enable his, uh, what do you call them, the school resource officers or his sheriff deputies, the ability and the hardware to uh, prevent anything from happening. In other words, meet violence with violence. And unfortunately, in the world we live in today, there's evil. There are evil people out there. There will always be evil people out there, and pe evil people will do evil things. Uh, so what they've decided to do, let's go ahead and talk about this. They decided to go ahead through it, as well as with the uh, school uh, superintendent, to equip these school resource officers with AR-15s, breaching tools, and anything else that's necessary to protect the children of that county. And I think this is really wise. Uh, and again, like I said, evil is evil. And so as a result of the Uvalde shooting, uh, it reveals systematic failures and egregious, egregiously poor decision-making resulting in more than an hour of chaos and bad decisions. Uh, so what they're doing is they are taking these resource officers and they're sending them to Buncombe County uh, in Asheville and they're giving them the training to work with these AR-15s, which by the way, were donated by uh, citizens of the county. And I just, I'm just so impressed with that. That in itself just tells me that these people care about their children. Um, so according to the published reports, published reports, Harwood said those officers were in that building for so long and that the suspect was able to infiltrate the building and injure and kill kids. I just want to make sure that my deputies are prepared in the event that that happens. The idea of AR-15s, okay, this is from Dorothy Espelage of UNC Chapel Hill, a professor in the School of Education who has conducted decades of study and research on school safety and students' well-being. This is what she said about Mr. Harwood's decision in the school board's issue. What's going to happen is we're going to have accidents with these guns. That's the first thing these people think of. They, they first of all, probably never owned a gun, never had a gun, but they said, oh, she's done years of research. Just the presence of an SRO increases violence in the schools. Man, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm just happy they are there. And the problem is that some of these people, they don't want resource officers in the school, but they don't understand that evil is evil, right? <laughs> there's more in, there are, there's more arrest of kids. Why is it that they have to have these AR-15s? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yes, it does, lady, because what are you going to do? What are you going to tell the parents of somebody who's had, who had, had, if they had the right equipment, if they had the right stuff there, that, a whole situation could have been prevented if they had the right training to step up. You notice that the resource officers at Uvalde and down there at Park, Parkland, they sat outside the damn building. They did shit. They didn't do nothing. They were waiting for someone to tell them to do something. Uh, Madison County School Superintendent Will Hoffman said school administrators have been meeting regularly with local law enforcement officials, including Harwood, to discuss the updated safety measures. Uh, Hartwood said county school resource officers have been training with instructors from Asheville Buncombe Technical Community College. They also said uh, they said safes, they're going to put all this stuff in a safe where the AR-15s will be kept, also hold ammunition and breaching tools for the barricaded doors. We'll have those tools to be able to breach that door if needed. I do not want to have to run back out to the car to grab an AR because that's time lost. Exactly. Hopefully. We'll never need it, but I want my guys to be as prepared as they can be, he said. Thank you. Finally, somebody who has common sense about how to protect their children. It's about protecting their children. You're not going to remove the evil people. You're not going to miraculously make all the firearms in this world disappear. Uh, schools are scheduled to reopen on August 22nd, according to the Madison County website. While the optics of school resource officers potentially handling AR-15s in schools may be discomforting to some, Harwood said he believes it is a necessary response. 
I hate that we've come to a place in our nation where I've got to put a safe in our schools and lock that safe up for our deputies to be able to acquire an AR-15, but we can shut it off and say it won't happen in Madison County, but you never know. So in any case, uh, yeah, that's one of the things that uh, I wanted to tell you guys. There are people out there right now who are prepared to protect our children. And I love his statement. It says, if somebody comes in to our schools attempting to do something evil and violent, they'll be met with violence. That's it. That's the difference between the left imagination of running wild saying that we need to get guns out of everything and what we're doing here. So anyway, you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about these men and women in uniform, the ones that are there to protect their children. That's huge. And they should do that in every school. Instead of hiring 87,000 IRS agents, let's hire 87,000 uh, resource officers. Help protect our children. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Boom. Good afternoon. As most of y'all know, I'm not a individual who likes to stand behind a podium and give live Facebook updates or like to talk to uh, the news when they come to Madison County. I just uh, focus on keeping the citizens of Madison County safe. But over the past few days, I have uh, been working on some stuff. I've uh, troubled at some stuff that's going on in our county and our nation and uh, very distraught about uh, the condition that our country is going in. It's, it's going in a condition where, ladies and gentlemen, if we don't put the brakes on and do an about face, we're headed to uh, destruction. Over the past few weeks, we've had situations going on in our schools all around us tragedy going on every day you turn the tv on we've got somebody's been shot somebody's been stabbed somebody's been murdered raped and uh you know we live in western north carolina a rural county but um, we've got to be prepared even in our rural counties for uh the enemy when he tries to come in and deter our children when he tries to come in and destroy our children we've got to be prepared for that so i have prepared a statement what we're going to do uh, uh, in the madison county school systems this coming year to ensure that our kids are going to be safe as possible so i'm going to read this statement where next week uh, some uh, reporter won't call and say, Sheriff, on this day you said that. I've got a fact check statement here on what I'm actually going to say and the things we're going to be doing. So if you'll bear with me, let me read this statement. And thank you very much for your time and attention. And the reason I'm reading this, I just want to ensure that our parents that uh, in the coming school year that we're going to exhaust every resource we've got to ensure that uh, our kids are safe, that when they go to school, they can learn about um, education and academics. They can go to the playground and play and not worry about is some thug going to come out to the playground and open up uh, on them with some type of an AR-15 shotgun, pistol, or whatever. So I wanna read you a statement on some of the stuff that we've done and are going to be doing over the next few months preparing for this coming school year. Our community has always stood together to ensure the safety of our children. I have a school resource officer who are certified deputy sheriffs in every school in our county. But we've sometimes seen that having just a deputy armed with a handgun isn't enough to stop these animals. That's why I've decided to arm all of my school resource officers with an AR-15 rifle, optics, an accessory as a show of our community's unity in ensuring the safety of our children the money to purchase these rifles and accessories was all donated by community members from Madison County my school resource officers will receive numerous hours of additional tactical training with these rifles and equipment to ensure their proficiency I have spoken with Madison County commissioners that have pledged to purchase strong, durable gun safes so that these weapons can be secured in an undisclosed location at each school. 
I've also been in continuous contact with Madison County School Superintendent Dr. Will Hoffman and the Madison County Board of Education, who is in agreement and supportive of this safety measure. God forbid that anyone ever come to our schools to cause harm, but if they do come to my school, I want my, my resource officers to have the ability to meet violence with violence. My school resource officers will not have to wait, retreat, or have to leave the situation to get the weaponry needed to deal with that threat. Our children are my top priority, and I will do whatever it takes to ensure their safety. So to those who might be looking to terrorize or harm our Madison County kids, don't bring that foolishness to Madison County because it won't end well. May God richly bless you and I hope each parent has a happy school year and a happy and safe summer. Thank you.